שלום לכם, אנשים טובים וברוכים הבאים לערוץ הקטן שלי היום בירושלים. I have come back to the Western Wall Complex. The Western Wall Complex. I just uh, passed through security. And I'm making my way down toward the wall. Okay, this is the same day as uh, the previous video with all of the booming and the banging on top of the platform. I just came through security, walked all the way around, and now I'm back down at the complex uh, for the wall. If you've watched the previous video covering the I went up on the platform and the security, and the noise and the shooting and the flash banging. Uh, you know very well that uh, um, it's a pretty rough and tumble situation up top. But nonetheless, here I am uh, down off of the platform. I was up there, but now I'm down here. I went up that ramp, that walkway through heavy security all the way up to the platform. And on top of the platform, there's a lot of flashbang. As I said, the people are angry. They're yelling and they're chanting. But with all of that, still it's good. As I always say jokingly, but not so much jokingly, I do live in East Oakland. So what's a few gunshots? So yeah, as you can see, there was the wall, a wall simply to some, others is much more. I respect the viewpoints, who am I to tread on uh, people's uh, beliefs, what they hold sacred and what they don't. I wouldn't want uh, anyone to do it to me, neither will I do it to others, but uh, it is very old, um, as you can uh, you see with the wall. The lower you get to the bottom, the bigger the blocks are. These are Herodian blocks associated with Herod's construction. Some of these blocks are just tons upon tons upon tons. And when you go into the tunnels below, they're even bigger. I mean, bigger than cars, bigger than uh, pickup trucks. I mean, just huge, perfectly beveled edges put together. And again, as I mentioned in a previous video, the higher you go up, the more piecemeal it becomes. And this is because Suleiman the Magnificent during the Ottoman period restored uh, the wall. So that's why it gets piecemeal at the top. But you best believe that the walls that are in front of you, um, if they had eyes, they saw um, all that we read about in books. They saw these living stones, saw Yeshua the Mashiach. And these same living stones will witness him 
Again, they are witnesses. Galaid. They are a wave of witnesses. There's a separation point. Okay, the signs in front of you. It says Gvarim. Uh, Gvarim for uh, men on this side where I'm standing. Here on the sign it says Nalishmor al hamakom. You know, please preserve or be uh, respectful of the sacred uh, location. We have Kid al Parda. All right, to keep the separation point. Right. So it's just separation barriers to keep the women on one side, guys on the other. And it says the opposite on the other side. This side is for Nashim, Nashim for women. But anyway, yeah, brief videos. Again, I don't want to make these videos, I don't want to make these videos uh, overwhelming in their length. I want it to be 12, 10, 12 minutes or so. Uh, so that you can enjoy them and not have to try to deal with a 35, 40 minute video. But um, I don't believe it necessary at all for me to do a lot of talking as the sights and the sounds that you hear. Take care of that for me. So I'm going to make my way out of security and toward the Mount of Olives and uh, I'm going to po post that as a second video, as a second video, because again, I don't want these to be long. So I'm going to end that here. So until the next uh, time, Shalom Lachem. And I will be joining you in just a few minutes once I clear security uh, with shots of the city of David and the Mount of Olives. Har Hazetim. Okay, Shalom.